Welcome to Seattle Neighborhood Crier. And if you go to seattleneighborhoodcrier.org, that's our website. You can catch uh, past shows, and you can subscribe to the show via that uh, website and see the YouTube videos. I'm going to start off with uh, news that's coming up. Uh, this this is the last week to apply for the thousand dollars to host a neighborhood party in your in in this year's night out event, and there'll be a link to that in the show notes. And the deadline is Monday, June twenty third. And the Seattle uh, SNAP is having some classes on fire extinguisher, and they're free. They're thirty minutes, and I'll have a link to those events on the show notes. And today I have from Free Geek Seattle, Mark Foster. And unmute him. There we go. I can't unmute you. Can you unmute yourself? <laughs> For some reason. We're, okay. we're on, great. We are on Google Hangouts Air, so it takes us a little while to get things going. Hi, Mark. Can you tell us uh, about Free Geek? Sure. Well, we're a local uh, nonprofit uh, volunteer run organization, and we're <coughs> dedicated to sustainable computing practices. Um, we do recycling of uh, old computer gear. We refurbish uh, old computer gear that is um, that is still, you know, tenable, um, and uh, and and those get distributed back out to the community uh, through our volunteer programs. We've got a couple of volunteer programs that we do, uh, and we also grant computers, refurbished computer systems to. Other nonprofits and like-minded organizations. And can, can you tell me the history of uh, of Free Geek? So Free Geek Seattle has been around since about 2009. We were an offshoot of the uh, Greater Seattle Linux Users Group, um, but Free Geek's roots go way back to about uh, 2000, I believe. Uh, in it, it all started in Portland. Uh, that's where the original Free Geek was founded, and um, and uh, you know became established, and um, <clears throat> and you know brand recognition and and uh, and so on. Uh, really large uh, core uh, group of volunteers down there. Um, so in about I think it was probably 2005, 2006, there started to be. Um, a number of other, um, they call them free geek startups, which came about um, in Chicago, uh, Michigan, and uh, quite a few other places. Um, these startups began forming that were sort of offshoots of the original free geek, um, but but still, you know, basically the same mission statement and uh, core values and so on. Um, so the free geek Seattle. Um, Came about uh, as an offshoot of the G Slug group, and um, you know, slowly but surely, over the past few years, we've been uh, growing and gaining momentum, gaining volunteers, and uh, you know, we formed a board um, and uh, <clears throat> established a, uh, a a location at the Filipino Community Center uh, just within the past uh, year, year and a half or so, and. Um, so yeah, we've really um, we've really uh, come a long way in those five years, and uh, and now we have uh, <clears throat> you know uh, we have weekly workshops um, where we where the volunteers come on Saturday and uh, and rebuild computer systems, refurbish them or recycle them uh, depending on you know whether they're they're uh, worthwhile to do so. And, uh, and in doing so, they can earn a computer uh, through uh, these programs uh, for themselves. If they build uh, five computers, uh, 
the six one they build is is they get to keep. So. Yeah, I, I think this is important for the community to, to know, because um, having a computer is is not cheap for a lot of people, and they don't know that they can get one if they participate and work, help out in the community. Right. I mean, the benefits are, are kind of twofold, right? Because uh, these folks that that are willing to uh, to volunteer their time and come in, they they not only you know, gain some experience in, in working with computers and and uh, and the hardware and the software side and all that, but but um, you know, but at the end of the day, they also earn uh, one for themselves if if that's what they want to do. So it's uh, it's really a great program. And you also have classes. We do have classes. There there are classes um, that are that are part of the um, that that you get um, from earning. Um, Earning a computer, uh, as far as how to use it, um, sort of the basics of using using the Linux uh, operating system, which we install on these computers, um, and then we have uh, various other classes um, for um, <clears throat> different things like web development and then, and um, you know computer math things like that. Um, we we recently in uh, <clears throat> we recently had a um, started an after school uh, program where we're teaching. Uh, teaching kids um, in the uh, at at the Filipino community center and also at the East African community center um, how to do um, um, both robotics was part of the program and uh, and then the other part of it was uh, basically um, working with computers hardware and software how to install an operating system how to use applications and so on so it's a is a real great program it's like a 12 week program. Uh, for those kids, and uh, it was a real, real good success. Yeah, and where do people donate computers and equipment? So right now we're accepting donations at the Filipino Community Center, uh, basically six days a week, I believe. And we have a link uh, uh, on our website, uh, which is freegeekseattle.org. Uh, you can just click on the donate link, and it will take you to a form. Um, which you can fill out um, to indicate what you what you would like to donate, and then you're sort of um, given given the specific instructions about when and where uh, to drop off the equipment um, through that link. All right, and I think we covered everything. Did I miss anything? About your organization. Oh, the Filipino Community Center is located at 5740 Martin Luther King Jr. Way. That's right. And your website has the hours that your your yeah the drop off times are listed there. Uh, the Tuesday through Saturday, uh, 10 to 6. And what you accept and the classes you have. Right, we've got more information about the classes uh, on our website. And the website is freegeekseattle.org. Yep. All right, well, thank you, Mark. All right, thank you. On episode six, I showed a video on how to subscribe to a podcast and how to use an RSS feed reader. And if you go to seattlecryer.org, you can get the videos there to watch. Thank you.